Oh, darling, you're home. What took you so long, love? Did something happen at work today? Was a co-worker being mean to you? Did your boss dump his workload on you again? Mm. Mm, you work so hard, love. Even if your job is so demanding, you still give your all. That's why I love you, after all. Uh, hmm. Why are you giving me that face? Is it because you're tired? No? And you must be hungry. You always look so mean and cranky whenever you're hungry. Oh well, that's why I learned to cook after all, so that my little one could relax to a good meal after they work so hard. And your face doesn't develop wrinkles at 20. Come now, let's eat. And after that, we can cuddle on the couch and watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry but your face your face is so <laughs> you look so confused so lost so gullible so naive was i that believable <laughs> ah, now you look angry ah, let me guess why are you here why did you break into my apartment? How did you know where I live? How did you break out of prison? Why are you still so devilishly handsome? Ah, not the last one, though. Shucks, that was my favourite, too. Hmm. To answer your first question, I'm here for two things. One, I'm here for revenge. Revenge on what? On you, silly. Outing me out to the police was one thing. But leaving me. Me, who picked you up from the streets and moulded you. Me, who gave you a job. A house filled with the finest furniture. A table never empty of the most extravagant food. An empire within the reach of your fingertips. Where you were treated with nothing but the utmost respect. And for what? For this. For a nine-to-five job, a small apartment above a pancake shop, and people who you call friends but see you nothing other than a co-worker. <laughs> mm. Kill you? What an outrageous and dumb idea. I'm not going to kill you. No, you're going back with me. Back in the business and back with the family. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's that or... Oh, you know I don't kid when it comes to these games, baby doll. You should be thankful I'm still giving you the option to live. Some of my men in the higher ranks don't even receive this mercy. So consider yourself grateful you're still standing here, not lying inside a body bag. Understood. Well, I don't have all day. You want the job or not? Mm, speak up, darling. Oh, I see your manners are still intact. Oh, what a so smart and obedient pet. I knew you'd make the right choice, pet. Well, some of your manners are... Ah, no matter. We can train that out of you in no time. My men are coming over in a few minutes. For what? Well, you didn't think I'd leave you alone in this dingy old apartment now, do you? That's right, baby. We're going back home. And no, I don't want to hear your complaints. What is it now? Oh, you want to know the other reason why I'm here? Pet, you're so stupid sometimes. What do you think would happen after you called the cops on me, hmm? That the underworld wouldn't turn on each other? That they remain civil? The moment the underworld found out what had happened to me, all of them were ready to fight. All of them wanted what my family had. And so for years, 
everyone fought and every two years a person will claim the title but none remain in power as for the business and the family many parts were stolen many of my territories that took years decades even to get is now home to simple low lives running human trafficking rings or wannabes that think they could act all macho now no one was there to guard what was mine mine Investors pulled out and ran for the hills. Customers stopped buying and quickly turned to other sellers after hearing the scandal. But my family was forced to go into hiding, scattering all around the globe, hiding behind fake identities just so the police would suspect them. But now that I'm here, that I'm back, that I'm back, I'm going to fix everything. Starting with recruitment. It's part of the reason why I'm here in the first place. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm still pissed. And you will get your punishment. But out of everyone who left, you kept your name that I gave you, so it was the easiest to track. And my, what a convenience. That the strongest of my soldiers is the easiest to find. <laughs> The van's outside and ready. Oh, don't be so gloomy, dear. This is the start of something new. Something brilliant. I just know it.